The book The Double Helix by James D. Watson is one of the most important pieces of science writing. It was first released in 1968, and it tells the story of one of the most important discoveries in modern biology, the structure of DNA. At the center of this story is young American geneticist James D. Watson, who worked with British scientist turned biophysicist Francis Crick. Together, they are the main characters in this story about science. The story gives a very honest look into the world of scientific study, which is driven by ambition, competition, and the search for the truth. The main part of the story takes place at the Cavendish Laboratory at Cambridge University in the early 1950s. At this time, experts all over the world were racing to figure out the secrets of the genetic code, and Watson and Crick were just two of the players. This setting gives the story a real sense of urgency and competition, which shows how important this science quest is. Watson and Crick were sure that the only way to break the genetic code was to figure out how DNA is put together. Still, there was a lot of competition. Rosalind Franklin, a smart and careful scientist, and Maurice Wilkins, a careful researcher at King's College in London, were making important progress with their X-ray diffraction studies on DNA. The story in The Double Helix is full of lively details and fierce competitions. For example, Watson's accounts of how he tried to get Franklin's important X-ray diffraction photographs, which were key to understanding the structure of DNA, make the story more interesting. But Watson's portrayal of Franklin has caused a lot of debate, which shows how competitive and sometimes heated scientific study can be. When Watson sees one of Franklin's X-ray photos, it's a big deal in the story. From this picture, Watson sees right away that DNA has a helical shape. This is a very important realization that leads him and Crick to build a 3D model of DNA that looks like a double helix. They realized that the structure pointed to a way that genetic material could be copied, which could lead to new study in genetics and molecular biology. The theme of competition in scientific finding is a big part of the double helix as a whole. The story shows how scientists can be bold, sometimes unethical, and even cruel in their race to find something new. The book suggests that the road to scientific finding can sometimes be a long and winding one, full of professional rivalry, moral dilemmas, and a lot of hard thinking. In addition, Watson's story is a powerful look at the scientific method. Along with careful experimentation and logical reasoning, the book shows how important intuition, insight, and luck are in scientific finding. But the book also shows that scientific study is full of biases and mistakes because it is done by people. The way Watson talks about his fellow scientists, especially Rosalind Franklin, is a major source of criticism and debate. The story is biased against women and hints at the problems women scientists faced in a mostly male field. In short, The Double Helix is a fascinating insider's account of the search for the structure of DNA, a success that changed our view of life itself. Even though Watson and Crick are given credit for the finding, the story stresses that science is a group effort that is driven by collaboration, competition, and sometimes controversy. The Double Helix is more than just a story about a scientific finding that changed the world. It is also a story about a person's life that is woven into the world of science. The book shows what the scientists' lives, battles, and hopes were like as they worked hard to find the truth. It tells us that scientists are people, with all their good and bad qualities, who want to figure out the mysteries of life. By doing this, it gives the seemingly far-off and abstract world of scientific study a human touch, making it interesting and accessible to readers outside of the scientific community.